What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Twatcast podcast. I'm your host, Ross Graham Studios, and today I'm joined by my co-host, Viper. I still don't fucking like that name. What? The, what, the Twatcast podcast? Yeah. It's fucking great. It's, it's, it's meh. Like, <laughs> you can't say it's perfect. Uh, no, it's not perfect, but it's like, fuck it, it's good enough. Well, what the fuck else am I supposed to call it? I don't, I don't fucking know. Like, dude. twat is kind of my whole fucking brand here. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> right, but, like, before we get into, like, watching more of your clips, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna tell this story, right? Because I thought right. it was pretty fucking funny. Um, so, basically, recently, I got my provisional license, right, so I can learn to drive, and basically, I ended up getting one of these fucking calls, and it's like, um... I'm expecting a call from my college recently, right? And then... <laughs> so, a number calls, and I'm like, fuck, I don't recognise that number. I'm going to pick up in case it's the person from the college. So I pick up the phone. <laughs> and this fucking... I go, like, hello? I hear nothing. I go, hello? And this fucking English woman comes on. She's like, hello, this is, like, fucking... I don't know, her name was, like, maybe Sandra or some shit. Like, Sandra from Smart Choice. And I'm like, the fuck, Smart Choice? Right, but I'm like, okay, it could be something to do with fucking education, right? Mm-hmm. And then, then she goes like that, like, um, we heard you were involved in a car accident recently, and I went, oh, okay, this is one of these oh, fucking, no, I, I I'm like, okay, it's one of these bullshit calls, right? So, like, in that fucking moment, I didn't know what to do. So, I'm like, shit, how do I, like, I didn't want to just tell her to fuck off, because, well, I couldn't, people were in the house, right? <laughs> so, I couldn't tell her to just fuck off, so I'm like, okay, what do I do then? And, um, so in the, like, the thickest Glaswegian accent that I could muster, I'd just say to her, like, I don't even drive. And then, like, there's, like, a minute, like, a a couple seconds where she just didn't say fucking anything and then just went, please hold. And, like, put me on fucking hold. So I just hung up the phone and I'm like, man, these fucking bullshit calls. That's the thing. Like, fuck that. When I was still in, you know, when I was still in high school, uh, and mm-hmm. I went, I was going to my, I was going to my, uh, my cousin's house, right? Right. Uh, I get a phone call. I'm like, oh, who's this? I wasn't expecting a phone call. I'm like, well, nothing really interesting happens in my life. May as well answer it. Yeah, like fuck it. <laughs> and then it goes like, uh, it goes, uh, hello, uh, hello, my name is, you know, English woman. Hello, my name is so and so. Uh, we, mm. I've heard uh, we've heard that you've got an, into a car accident in London. Is this true? I'm not even say London. <laughs> I'm not in London. Can yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. Sorry to bother you, and then fucking hangs up. The fuck? Like yeah. she was so confident until you said that you don't live in London and you don't drive. She yeah. was so fucking like, confident. How can you fuck up for that badly? <laughs> exactly. Like you're not even calling like London fucking numbers. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're calling, you have the same like starting number, but even so, like, mm-hmm. oh my fucking my if, grand if got one, one of those calls. Actually, if someone actually got into a car crash and gave them that number, <laughs> they gave them the wrong fucking yeah, number. Yeah, they like misplaced a fucking digit or something. Yeah, it must no, be. right, but like my fucking my grand got one of those calls, right? And it was immediately sketchy from the fucking beginning, right? I'll set this up for you. So it's a house phone that rings, right? Which is already sketchy as fuck. That the fact that it's, like, it's ringing a house phone. So yeah. she picks it up. And then it's this fucking American woman. Red flag number two. American. Right? Why the fuck would an American be calling over here? Right? Part number three. This call was at like nine in the fucking morning. Right? The two American Americans at minimum are five hours behind us. So it would have been like at minimum four in the fucking morning. Right? So it's like, okay, what the fuck? So this American woman calls her, right? And then says in, like, this really kind of... We didn't know what the accent was, but, like, it, it was definitely American. And just goes, if you want to continue using your Amazon account, you're going to have to pay thirty nine ninety nine. And it's like, okay, first off, Amazon doesn't fucking charge you to use their service. Right? You pay for the product that you buy, and that's fucking it. Like maybe, like you, you maybe add on VAT, like, but that's about fucking it. Yeah, right? The only thing that really you get charged with Amazon Prime. Amazon is well, Amazon Prime and also fucking Twitch. Twitch yeah, Prime. yeah. Well, Twitch Prime and Amazon Prime don't they go together? Like, if you have Amazon Prime, you get Twitch Prime. 
I don't think so, no. I thought you did. Anyway, uh. so... Right? But then the other fucking part is that, like, my grand doesn't even have a fucking Amazon account. Right? <laughs> like, okay, she's in her 70s. What 70-year-old do you know is using fucking Amazon? That's a fair point. You know what I mean? Right? My, my grand would most likely go out and buy the Buy it, yeah. Amazon. Rather than try to buy it online. Right? Yeah, so... <laughs> This is not and how that shit works. Exactly. Like, my grand doesn't fucking know either. My grand doesn't even like phone calls. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> like she doesn't like trying to have a conversation with, like, you know, someone from one of these companies on the phone. She's like, fuck yeah. that. I hate that. So, like, you know, no, so this really, see, it, it, I, it, like, spooked the fuck out of her. And, you know, I was over there today and she was telling me about it. And I'm like, nah, it's fine. They didn't, like, they wouldn't have been able to take anything you know, they wouldn't have been able to do anything, like, it's all good, nothing's gonna come out of the bank. Yeah, no. Like, it'll be all fucking good. And, um, you know, and it just makes me think, like, okay, these scammers are both at the same time incredibly fucking smart and the dumbest bastards on earth. Right? Yeah. Because yeah, if you think see, about it, right, they're smart calling see house... next time. Yeah. See, next time I get a phone call from, mm-hmm. like, one of these scam companies, I want to go along with it. I actually want to, like... <laughs> yeah, like, fucking them play them. With it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I actually want to have some fun with it because I don't really like. Uh, because nothing interesting happens to me. Yeah. So you're just like, ah, yeah. fuck it. I'll mess with these cunts. Yeah. Right. So like. So fuck it. Yeah, but like these guys are at the same time like the smartest bastards on earth, and yet the thickest twats you've ever met. Right. Because okay, they're smart calling house phones because then they're gonna get people. You know, because like what fucking young people today have a house phone. Do you know what I mean? Like, people it's that... not in their grand's house. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, people that move out into their own home now do not have a house phone, right? So they're and smart... they do have one, uh, you know, inside there as soon as they get in, they unplug that shit. They don't exactly. fucking use it. Right? So they're pretty smart doing that. So they're going to get people that don't really know what Amazon is, think it's a paid service, and will fucking might go along with it. But at the same time, you also have to think to yourself, like, okay, why the fuck would you put on an American accent and call a UK number? And right? No fucker say... from America is calling a UK place. Especially from a company like Amazon, where they have, like, fucking headquarters all over the fucking world. Like, you yeah, would get a call from the really... UK representatives of Amazon. This is, like, the 20th, uh, the 20th or 21st century. Like, people, even if they don't have an account there, they're gonna know what it is, like, it's yeah. been years but since like, my grand this doesn't, shit has come out. Yeah, my grand doesn't really understand it, but, like... Like, she knows about it. Yeah, she knows what Amazon is. Yeah. So she was smart enough to not... To recognise, like, okay, this is a fucking scam. Do you know what I mean? And then, what was even weirder is she got one, like, a couple days later. Like, what day is it today? Today is Saturday. She got one yesterday, right? At, like, one in the afternoon. And she's like, okay, what the fuck? Are these guys trying to fuck with me now? Do you know what I mean? But, like, she yeah. recognised immediately, like, okay, that's in our fucking scam, and hung that one up as well. Which is, like, fair enough, you know. Like, fuck these scam calls. I think yeah. that, I think it's just, like, funny as fuck that they try and get away with this it shit. Is, like, it is really funny, especially the ones that are, like, based in fucking India. Oh, like, those one ones guy, are the fucking best. Yeah, one guy actually, one guy actually hacked in either, uh, like, surveillance system and watched them. <laughs> If he actually, like, he watched them and actually, like, uh, you know, called this place or got calls from it. Like, you know, you know, the, uh, this stuff that's like warning, uh, you, uh, you have a virus, call this number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that, uh, he called up the number, uh, got on the security camera and, uh, like, and fucking changed watched his, them. Changed his, no, changed his wall, uh, his wallpaper on a different, uh, you know, on like a different desktop. You know, mm-hmm. from the one that he's using to like purple or you know a really like noticeable color. Yeah. Right. And once he did that, he looked for the camera to try and find the person that uh, that was accessing his PC. Oh shit! And he actually found he actually did it and like just played with uh, played with them. And that he actually is found smart out as that fuck. Most of these guys, uh, even if they're not doing their uh, doing their job, they fucking play Pac Man. <laughs> While they wait, <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> and the guys, Hold on, can you just picture like had, one of the guys that had taken his call were, was playing Pac-Man as he was on uh, the fucking like, phone, as he was on the phone. Shit, 
Can you imagine that? Like, some guy trying to tell you that you've got a fucking virus and you install this software to get rid of it and fucking playing Pac-Man at the same time. He fucking did as well. <laughs> like, okay, that shit's, like, fucking off of the scale. Like, yeah. what the fuck? But, like, how how this guy, like, sort of did it is... Uh, okay, there's two buildings, right? Mm-hmm. Turned out there's two buildings. One, which was, like, the main, sort of, the main focus building, where it was, like, you know... A real company, yeah, uh, of course. They bought a building behind it. Mm-hmm. Now, the building behind it was it's the scam, like, yeah, it was a scam, it was a scam business, but yeah, you know, it had no marks, no way to like a, a side entrance to get in, you yeah. know, stuff like that. Pretty shady uh, looking fucking place, to be honest. Yeah, but there were the, but the balconies were connected together, so mm-hmm. you know, they could jump over and, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the guy got into the security system and, you know, watched them and actually mm-hmm. figured out their whole system and then actually Holy figured shit. out, like, uh, and actually got a spreadsheet of their, uh, of the different agents oh, that are, shit. you know, available, waiting on calls, taking a call, or off. Oh, fucking hell. Like, he, he went that far to start This dude went company. fucking deep. It, like, he, yeah, and he and then he put it into the... He put it into, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the, uh, businesses that do that, mm-hmm. that deal with, deal with that, or the places in America that deal with that. Yeah, and then know, fucking the, reported it. Yeah, he reported it. And Fair it enough actually, to. you know, actually did, uh, did well. Not bad. Okay, right, here's like a random fucking, like, out of nowhere kind of question that I thought about. Have you ever had, like, the cops called on you? For any reason? Oh, fuck Yes. I have as well. I've got. I've. Mine's been for really stupid shit that you don't so call mine. the fucking cops for. So mine. Do you know what I mean? Okay, like. I'll, it, I'll, let, I'll let. I'll let. I'll your. Oh, I was gonna let you tell your story first. Nah, nah, nah I want to hear yours to see how like okay. it is to mine. Right. So this is like it's really fucking dumb, right? So, I've got two versions of this. So what one do you want to hear? Do you want to hear? What do you want to hear? The dumber one first. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, basically, me and one of my friends, I think we were about 12 at the time, right? And we're outside, and we're doing what kids do, you know, we're playing with toy guns, toy knives, whatever, right? And this fucking woman comes out, and for whatever reason, she cannot tell the fucking difference between a real fucking blade, like a metal blade and plastic, like grey fucking... How old was she? Oh, I think probably, like late 30s mid 40s probably and she can't tell the fucking difference between a metal blade and a fucking grey piece of plastic right and thinks we're playing with actual fucking like military grade knives and calls the fucking cops right so she calls the police and we're like she'd already she'd basically told us to like fuck off and stuff like that so we fucking booked it right we ran because we're like okay this bitch is telling us to fuck off we might as well go like this bitch be crazy So she calls the cops, they come to the fucking street, and we're just sat there like, what the fuck, right? And he comes up to us, because obviously she reported two young boys, so he comes up to us, and like, he actually asks like, hey, do you guys like, stay here? And I did, my friend didn't, he was like, round, he lived in like, um, kind of the next place over, um, but basically, you know, we go inside, it was outside my grand's house. And we go inside, and the policeman basically says to us, yeah, just, like, don't play with those outside. Which I think is the dumbest fucking shit, because basically that means, like, oh, you want to play, you know, you want to be, you want to play soldiers? Well, fuck you, you're not allowed, because some crazy bitch can't tell the difference between a fucking knife and a piece of plastic. Mine was so much worse. Right? Like, that's, right? Like, that's one of them, and then the other one is just, it's fucking, it's stupid, right? So... It's it's along similar vein, right? So basically, there's like a telephone box near my street, like right outside it, right? And me and my friend, again, same friend, right about like a couple months earlier, right? And we are standing at this fucking telephone box, right? We're just walking around doing fuck all, talking, right? And there's the, like there's a bunch of houses. You know where the houses are? Like yeah. uh, if you're coming out of my street, there's the houses right across. Yeah. basically there there's like there was some old guy in one of the houses right who thought that we were fucking around doing some shady shit next to the police box right 
motherfucker called the cops and they actually took our fucking details. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, what, like, what were we getting our details taken for? For fucking standing? Do you know what I mean? Like, what were we doing wrong? We, we yeah, literally did the fuck uh, all. It, it so, was so fucking dumb. But again, it's like, it's kind of those generations where it's like, ah, fuck it. They'll call the cops over anything. So what's yeah, your, no, like, that's... outrageous story? Right, so, I want to hear this. Uh, so me and my friends, right, we were, you know, uh, I, used, I used to live, you know, uh, back in in Blantyre, right? Mm-hmm. This is when I was still living in Blantyre. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so where my area was, right? Mm-hmm. It was okay. Where my area was, it was the uh, like uh, a big field, uh, basically down like a path for me. Okay, and then like in my back garden, there was a way out, and then a big long path, mm-hmm. right? Where I learned where to ride my bike. Yeah, and I had my bike out. Uh, a bunch of my friends uh, also mm-hmm. had their bikes out, yep. and we decided we all decided to do a two v two race. Oh, nice. Right? So following a path, like, you know, uh, from where, like, the, uh, my back door up uh, up to a wall and then, like, to the field is. Mm-hmm. So I, from okay. there, went down uh, went down the path to my back gate and then down the and down the path where I learned what to ride my bike. Mm-hmm. Took, uh, take a left and then all the way back up the hill. Okay, yeah. Yeah. You know? The, you know we're not as we're going down the path we know you know not we're not making noise the only noise that's basically being it's made the is the bikes yeah kind, yeah it's kind of our bikes but even though then that's not loud right yeah so it comes uh we take a few turns then it comes to my turn right and uh, my, uh then it comes to mine and uh, another person's turn again right mm-hmm. we go down and then as we're coming down the hill uh we get stopped you get stopped. Now, we get stopped by, by this woman that lives in the house uh, to the right of where we're coming down. Okay. Like, why Why she stopped us? She says, you're not allowed to ride your bikes down here. This is a, pri- uh, this is a private property. It's stopped making so much noise. Fuck. This, this, is, this is public property. Yeah, like, this is a and, public fucking area. And if... And if only people that live, that live in the area are allowed down here then i'm allowed down here yeah because like i live considering my house was literally the one like if you went d- down to the bottom of it and turned around my house was yeah. straight on yeah exactly like what like, the my, fuck? Go- my back garden and door were straight on yeah so like she friends to call <laughs> she friends to call the cops on us and we're like fuck well, sake we're not scared of that considering it's a public split it's a public place yeah why would we be scared of that right? yeah fair enough then then when we're all done with that we you know cycle around a few more and then we're done right i put my bike away then go to the field we play around and then we go to that bottom bit and then uh we we're at the bottom grassy bit and then we're uh and then you know i asked my uh, my friend my cousin hey do you want to go uh do you want to go uh bounce on my trampoline they say sure we yeah i should do trampolines were the to... fucking bomb oh yeah definitely we go to where the uh we you know we go to where the uh uh, you know where the bottom bit is, right? Mm-hmm. And she stops us again and says, "Why are you over here? I oh, thought you were not allowed to go, uh, be down here." I'm like, and me, me and my cousin's friend, and also my friend, say we're just going up. We're just going up to my uh, my house. It's literally up there. She's like, "No, uh, no, it's not. I know who lives there. That's it. I know who lives there. You don't live there. <laughs> I know the <laughs> motherfucker. Of house. Yeah, like so motherfucker. You know my mom and dad." Like, your mum and dad don't live there. You're, you're how the fuck do you? Just how the fuck do you know? Uh, she fucking she had their two daughters out, right? She kept uh, the 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 youngest got, uh, daughter she uh, stayed with and told us to stay stay there. As she got the oldest one to uh, go and go and get the phone. Oh, to for phone the, fuck's uh, to phone sake. the police. Right? That's some so, dumb shit. And she tells us to sit down. You know, we we sit down and uh, wait for the police. The police come and you know ask us. Uh, ask her, uh, or one of them asks, uh, ask her, uh, what's going on, like what's happening, and yeah. then she explains bullshit way, and then someone, and then uh, their partner, uh, like brings us, uh, like to the side and asks us, so uh, what's been happening? We explain all we've been doing is riding our bikes down there, 
mm-hmm. you know, safely, not making noise. Yeah, doing shit that kids just house. fucking do. Yeah, we wanted to walk up to my uh, walk up to my house. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so you know, comes back. They uh, they start talking, and she's she shouts at us. The fuck? She actually shouts at us while the cops are there, and one of the uh, one of the cops had to turn around and and actually tell her to shut up. Damn. So talk, and so <laughs> we were we weren't scared. Yeah. And then once they're done. Uh, one of the guys goes to uh, goes to her and says, "Ma'am, don't waste police resources. We could have been doing something more important than taking this stupid call." Holy right? shit! But then, but they came over to us and said, "Just, uh, uh, just to make sure we're uh, we're gonna have to, you know, come over to your house and make sure that you actually live here." Yeah. My mum was in the house. Oh fuck yeah! No, 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 no but my mum was in the house. Mm-hmm. So, what she saw was... All of you I, I walking them, with I, police I officers them, like, by your fucking side. Yeah, no, I, I told them, I told them, like, uh, I told them I live there. Um, my, fr- uh, my friend, my cousin here, Don. And mm-hmm. he goes, uh, he goes, okay, uh, they can uh, they can go. I'm going to come with you. And then we went to the front door, mm-hmm. opened the door, and then... You know, my mom's worrying, asking him, "What has he done? Is he gonna go- <laughs> what has he, he done? Is he going to jail?" <laughs> exactly, and then they they explain, uh, they explain, uh, explain it to her, and then like mm-hmm. uh, she asked me, "Did you lie to them?" I'm like, "No, I, that's I told them the truth." Yeah, that's genuinely it, it, what happened. Yeah, I told them the truth because it was annoying that I got stopped for trying to come home. Yeah. <laughs> It's fucking mad shit. Just reminded me of another story as well. Nothing to do with the cops, but just crazy shit, right? Yeah. So I was walking home one day, and, like, it was outside my grand's house. My mum was there, and my gran was there as well. My gran was, like, waving us out the door. It was me, it was me and that same friend again, right? And we're walking mm-hmm. away, and we're, like, the entire fucking road is filled with fucking parked cars, right? Mm. And what we did is we went behind my mum's car while she's in it so that she could, like, look, you know, to the road, see if anything was coming, and then, since nothing was coming, tell us to go, right? So she told us to go. And then, like, as we're halfway across the road, this fucking crazy bitch, right? Now, bear in mind, you know, the streets around my place are pretty fucking small, right? Yeah. They're probably, like, I think there are 20 zones. This bitch yeah. was easily doing like fucking 40, right? Coming down yeah. coming down the street, right? To the point where, you know, she just fucking appears, right? So me and my friend, we actually had to jump to the other side of the fucking road to avoid this car. And then she stops, right? Like she slams on her fucking brakes and then stops, rolls down her fucking window and shouts at me, you two fucking kids better stay out of the bastard road and all that. Right, no, I'm young, I hadn't built up my thick skin yet. I started fucking crying. I've almost just been fucking ran over. And then you have the well, nerve to fucking... Sc- yeah, like, I've almost been ran over. You have you have just fucking screamed at me. Like, I, I, I wasn't the type of person that I was now that would have been like, ah, piss off. You know what I mean? Oh, exactly. Like, I was the type of kid that was like, fuck, I might have actually done something wrong. You know, yeah. and my mum's saying to me, like, you've done fuck all wrong. You know, and gets out the... Like, she gets out the car. And, um... And the weird part was, this woman that was driving like a fucking lunatic, right? She had a fucking baby in the back seat, right? And then she starts arguing with my mum. You know, my mum's always just saying, like, they were just walking across the fucking road and you can speed and you know, that shit. Yeah. Right? And then this lassie, like, this woman has her boyfriend on the phone who's shouting down the phone, kick her fucking cunt in, and all that, right? She never got out the fucking car, but her boyfriend's going, kick her cunt in. Like, you're... Like, your lady isn't even out the fucking car. You know what I mean? And you think she's going to kick my mum's cunt in? Motherfucker's too scared to get out. But that basically just end That that ended so fucking quick with my mum screaming at this bitch and she just left. Like, what the fuck? Like, such weird got, fucking stories. I almost got in trouble for... Uh, like, for... I almost got in trouble for my... For someone that I knew throwing stones on a car. The fuck? How do you get in trouble for that? Well, see, like, see, I, uh, 
see when i was younger uh you know i me i mean this this uh, this boy i know they li- uh lives across the road we didn't know each other mm-hmm. uh, we no we knew each other we just weren't really that big of friends because yeah me, me uh him and his brothers he was the youngest but me him and his brothers all got into a fight once oh right okay yeah you know I, you know it was a fucking bad bad fight yeah, yeah uh but as i was like uh like okay so i was on my bike and mm-hmm. i'm on my bike just ro- uh just sitting to relax and and he's like throwing stones into the road like a bunch of stone uh picking up stones in, mm-hmm. in his hand throwing them up in the air and letting them land as cars drive by okay the fuck he throws them up and the cars actually land on the car uh-huh now as they do that she fucking the the woman in the car she fucking uh brent comes to a halt and backs up he fucking Shit. bolts it the right? fuck he, yeah, he no, ran he bolts it. yeah he bolts it i'm i'm on my bike i'm not gonna leave my bike and so i'm just i'm, I'm i stay there because like i'm not in trouble why should i be in trouble why should yeah I why the fuck should i run like why should i run when i'm not in trouble right and yeah because running uh, would make you look fucking suspicious yeah no she's uh she asked me where uh where do you live i'm like well i live over there but the guy who from the stones lives over there she's like okay let's go to your house i'm like why go to my house when he lives over there i didn't do anything yeah like Like, what the fuck i actually argued with her about i didn't do it (laughs) yeah like it wasn't fucking me yeah, and then she like she just gives up and drives off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake! Honestly, fucking weird shit seems to happen like around me, right? Like yeah, so much random bullshit, so much drama happens like around me, and I'm just like, just fuck. Because of because of the shit I've watched, and because of how my life is like happening, mm-hmm. I enjoy shit like that because. If something happens, then I'm like, fucking finally something. I I enjoy hearing it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I enjoy... Like, if I have two different people who I talk to, and they're both talking shit about one another, fuck. I'm just waiting for it all to boil over. I don't ever get involved. I don't tell anyone what anyone said. I just fucking wait. Oh, I'm the type of person that stays neutral, but if one party uh, says something bad about the other party... I'm the messenger. <laughs> nah, I don't they tell any. Like they know they like. Yeah, they, they both know, fucking know. But they don't care because like it's something shit. that wa- they wanted to say but can't say it to the face just in case you know a fight breaks out. So yeah. I'm just like, yeah. So uh, they said this. Yeah, I just love. Did they, did I love they staying completely saying fucking neutral. Yes, of course they do. They wanted me. Uh, they wanted me to do this because I'm the neutral party. Yeah, like I fucking I love just staying completely neutral. And not saying shit, because then you slightly, just sometimes cause... sometimes I'll slightly go towards one group, but I stay neutral. I like, try, I try to stay as neutral as I can, but like I love just sitting there taking in all of the shit that they've said about one another, and just knowing it all, and then just yeah. waiting for it all to fucking boil over. It is fucking great, because then when it finally does all kick off, you're sat there like fuck. Like, this is the shit I've been waiting... This is the season finale that I've been uh, fucking yeah. waiting for. You remember, uh... You remember Emily? Yeah. I'm not saying her second name, because of... Yeah, of it, yeah. yeah. Don't don't but, say people's uh, fucking second names. Yeah, the boat, uh, if she does watch the video, she'll know exactly who she is, but... Emily, yeah, I don't think she watches my stuff. I don't think so, but... Emily... Remember when Emily fought a first year... Shit, I don't remember that. <laughs> she fought a first year. It was what the, fucking funny. What the fuck were some of the fights in our school? Like, the fucking weird <laughs> shit. It's some of the most random bullshit. Do you know what I mean? It's random bullshit. It mostly happened down at the park. But yeah. But sometimes it happened in school. Oh, but, yeah, fuck. Yo, you know that there's a fucking fight going on. Do you know how? Because everybody fucks off out of the door. No, everyone fucks off out the doors. Everyone fucks off out the doors and everyone talks about Yeah oh, fuck, this is happening here and as soon as the fight happens, fucking the school gets empty. Yeah, the entire fucking hall, like during lunch, the time where everyone's fucking there, empties like fucking in five seconds, yeah, because, the entire like, place is fucking stone dead. Yeah. Because there's a fucking fight outside. <laughs> so here's the thing, right? All of these people do that and then get upset when the fight's broken up by teachers. It's like you fucking led them there. 
Yeah. Like was, you yeah, fucking you I practically was, let them know. See if I was a teacher watching like let's say uh, <laughs> You I wouldn't give a, a fuck. No, no, I wouldn't give a fuck. Nah, no, I'd watch it. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. like I wanna fucking teacher, see this right? shit. If I was a teacher and nothing happened, right? If for like the entire school day and then like I'm just sitting in my class just like uh, grading shit, drinking my coffee, and then I look outside and there's a fight. I'd fucking go up to the window, like, oh, come on, come on, fucking, fucking go on, call, then. Like, one of my friends over, they're fighting. <laughs> Yo, do you talk reckon? To, and, and do you reckon say, teachers talk shit? Them, don't grasp them in. Don't, don't grasp them in. Let's just watch. Who you betting on? <laughs> Yo, do you reckon like teachers talk shit about students? Oh fuck yeah! Like surely they have. You like surely they go into that fucking staff room and just be like, "Oh, I've got this one dickhead in my fucking like Callum." <laughs> like I can imagine, right? Like say for example, like the fucking English teachers, right? Like they're they're just sat there. Like, I've got this one fucking dickhead in my class. Motherfuckers oh, always interrupting. There's there's obviously like there's obviously teachers that chat shit about Ben, Damien, Ryan, Lee. Yeah. Like, there's and gotta also, be teachers you know, that chat also, shit. You know, Callum and all that. Yo, do you just reckon like, they chat shit even about, like, the good students? Just be like, oh, this one just will not shut the fuck up. Like, like, like this one sun. just keeps trying to correct me at every fucking turn. Like, just sit there oh, yeah, no, and no, listen no, like, to my see, fucking lesson. See, that's the thing. If it's something like that, then yeah, they would definitely yeah, but talk like, about them. I don't reckon they talk shit about, like... I reckon the ones that they probably talk shit... Like, okay, teachers talk shit probably about, like, the good, the really, like, the ones that are too good, like, the teacher's pets, and then the ones that are just total dicks. Then you've got the kind of neutral ones in the middle that, like, they barely fucking remember. Like me. Yeah, like you and me, well, just see, sat there like, who the fuck were those guys again? <laughs> I, no, I'm remembered for being quiet and for being either quiet or sleeping. Yeah. Because, oh, I almost punched a, a teacher in the face. Shit, I want to hear this. So you know, obviously you don't say like obvious like, no, like Mr. like Mister teacher. Name anyway, but oh, like, right, okay. Um, like what it, department? He was, a math, he was a math teacher. I think oh he was fuck! A, like mostly a substitute. You know, oh okay. The, uh, like the young looking one that always like cracked jokes. You know, I'm pretty sure ginger beard, uh, ginger hair, glasses. Oh shit! Yeah. You know who I'm talking about? I think so. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't remember his one name of either. Strategies of getting someone awake is. Mm-hmm. Standing in front of them, face like not that far away, right? But enough, right? Mm-hmm. Waiting for them to wake up and fucking shouting, "Are you awake?" Oh fuck! I jumped, almost punched him in the fucking face. My heart was racing shit. as soon as he walked away. That's fucking I didn't mad react, shit. But, like I was so close to doing it. Yeah, so, I can I can picture uh, you also, doing that shit. This is how bad like it got. I told my I like I, I told my mom like I'm sleeping in class because it's boring and like she mm-hmm. knew that you know she knew uh, and she knew that it wasn't it had nothing to do with my sleeping yeah because you know I slept a lot mm-hmm. right so and my mom like my mom actually got mad at this so what okay. the teacher has started to do right mm-hmm. is or what you started to do is uh. He started getting the uh, the guy who sat across from me whenever I fell asleep to push the fucking table into my chest. Oh fuck that! Or into my like into my stomach, my chest. Fuck that shit! And you know, I don't think he realized that I had asthma. And I said, "Sir, could you? Uh, could you fucking stop? not?" His response: "Stop sleeping in my class." Ah, oh, piss off. It's not my fault your class is fucking boring. So fucking boring. <laughs> it's not my fault that your class is so fucking boring like, that I can't stay awake. I want you to speak up to all my teachers, like all the teachers that have Dude, fucking, fucking wronged me, all the teachers that have, you know, been a dick to me. I just yeah. want to fucking do it so badly, but I can't because I know I'll get in trouble. Yeah, but I want to talk shit to so many teachers. Like, to be honest. If I knew I was going to like leave in a few and didn't care about you know my grades or anything, yeah, you'd I would fucking go it. for it. <laughs> I do it. I don't care. Yo, I had one of the fucking lecturers at um during my college course. Holy shit! Right. So basically, what happened was um throughout the throughout the course we went to three different colleges, right? Mm. All all different colleges like from different areas of Glasgow, right? And then the first one we go to. Like, it's, um, we're doing, ironically enough, we're making podcasts, right? And fucking, and then, like, the lecture there was so shit, right? 
I genuinely, right, this is one of the questions that I asked him, right? Because in there, you get to use shit like um, Adobe. You know, you get to use all of that shit because they, like, pay for it. So you get to use, like, Photoshop, um, Premiere Pro, you know, all of that stuff, right? And I asked him, like, hey, is Premiere Pro similar to Vegas? You know what I mean? Like, the editing software is. I'm like, are they similar? Motherfucker never answered my question, but went off on a tangent about, like, fucking, like, some sort of shit to do with, like, the history of video. And it's like, I just want to fucking know if Adobe Premiere Pro is similar to fucking Sony Vegas. That was my simple question. Like, is the layout of them and the features they have, are they similar? Is one better than the other? Like, or are they basically the same? And from what I've worked out, they're basically the fucking same. Right, I think Adobe just has like yeah. a couple more features, but like I can do the shit in um, Vegas anyway. Yeah, you know I just have to put a bit more work into it. But like honestly, fucking, he was the worst fucking lecturer that you ever had. Never explained any of the fucking tasks to us. Do you know what I mean? Like he just basically said to you, "Okay, this is the basic premise of it. Go fucking do it. You got questions? Tough shit." Hey, go fuck like. Yourself. Yeah, basically, it was basically a case of go fuck yourself, like, because then every other lecture I had afterwards was, like, super keyed in, like, okay, you have a question, I'm gonna try and explain it as best as I can, like, but this guy was just a, a dick. Apparently, like, I was talking to my girlfriend who was on the course with me, and her her friend was part of, uh, like, a different group doing the same course. Yeah. Apparently that lecture made her fucking cry, and I'm like, how the fuck... That Do you know what I mean? Bad it gets. Like, yeah, I like what the fuck? I that's kind of also why I don't really want to go to you know college, uh, like uh, you know, college, college courses or just college, college can be pretty like chill. That. College can be yeah, pretty chill. I, I, it okay, it yeah, all depends but... on like course and lecture. Because if you get a good course with a fucking great lecture, and you get good fucking people in your course, you in for one hell of a year. Yeah, but like if you get a shit lecture, you like know, the entire learning portion's <laughs> fucked. See. See my like see my work, mm-hmm. right? In my work, I had like I like my knees acted up like mm-hmm. a bunch uh, a bunch of times, and also I uh, felt you know fucking I don't know why I felt like really sick there. Mm-hmm. So like you know I I'd go home early right, but one day when I went home early for being sick right, mm-hmm. uh, one day before uh you know before that and you know this is a coincidence that people thought oh like. You know, he's doing. He might do this to try and get out. No, yeah. I was, uh, so I was trying to, right. So I was doing cardboard with, uh, with this guy that I that I knew, right. He was mm-hmm. the old guy, but I knew him, right. Yeah. So, you know, I'm doing the I'm doing the work, and like you know, a few like I didn't check the time before, so a few minutes later, I pull out my I pull out my phone and. You know, check the time. Mm-hmm. He tell uh, he tells me, uh, put your phone away. You're not allowed, uh, you're not allowed to be on your phone. I'm like, I'll just check the time. Why are you checking the time? You've got a clock right there. Fucking went off on me, so I went off the and back because earlier, like er- earlier when like I was just starting, right? Mm-hmm. He told uh, he told me, yeah, uh, he told uh, he told me why are you checking the clock? Don't you have a phone? I said, yeah, check the time on that. The fuck. Yeah, that so like this earlier, motherfucker's like, like contradicting earlier, his shit. Yeah, exactly. That was like earlier that like sort of week. Or what the fuck? Earlier, like I was earlier that past like. You know, uh, I so, I right? could not fucking deal with cunts like that that like yeah, contradict no, so, themselves. Like he said that he said that when I was just starting. Right, a few weeks later, I'm you know, I'm I'm comfortable around the place, mm. and then he says that, and then I obviously bring up like. You told you told me when I like first started when to check I was, my phone. when I was checking the time to use my phone, and now you're telling me to use the actual clock. What do you want me to use? What do you want? What do you want me to use to check the time? He goes, "You don't need to check the time every few minutes." Oh I don't know fuck! How many right minutes off. has passed. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't fucking know. I don't know. Honestly, like, off the top of my fucking, I don't count mentally. Yeah. I can't fucking like think most of the time. Yeah, just go for like the in between shit and just buy a fucking like just wear a, like a really shitty watch. See, that's the thing. I can't tell the time on watches. Like that's really? the thing. That's that's my issue. Right? Yeah, I can't. I can't check. You know, like analog clocks. 
I, mm-hmm. I can only use digital. Yeah. Like, cause I, whenever when I used uh, when I was in primary school, I I was put into a group that got you know put into that got taught strictly on analog time Mm -hmm. because i was failing in that i fucking hate it yeah like it was awful Mm. but yeah i'm still i still struggle yeah i fucking i just remember like another another uh another thing uh so you know how there was like those big uh you know the like in certain classes there was you know the other group are those like the other group of kids that got like the that were right you know those three groups like the for me I'm, I'm pretty sure it was the squares the triangles and the circles okay right and the squares and triangles worked on the same like sort of they worked on the same like sort of level of maths but like this the circles got to work on bigger parts right and then the, the, I, I, I like I was surprisingly a part of the circles when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So while everyone was still learning about how to count up or how to get up to like a hundred, mm-hmm. I was learning how to get up to like a thousand and so. Ah oh, right, yeah, yeah. And I was surprised at myself that I got into that group. Mm. And sometimes when I was stuck on, all right. Sometimes when I was stuck on my uh, stuck on stuff like. Mm-hmm a question and it was like it was lunchtime or it was like playtime yeah i i just i pretended to write something closed my book put it into mark and then go fuck yeah i wasn't gonna stay there and yeah like fuck brought, that shit like when she brought it up uh i i didn't say anything i <laughs> just like i don't fucking know what you're talking about <laughs> i i did that i even even though she told me not to do that multiple times i still did it because I didn't know, I didn't like math. <coughs> I God still don't fuck. like math. Bless me. Yeah, I, st- I, I don't fucking understand the point of half the shit they teach you in maths. Like, yeah. when the fuck am I going to have to use, like, x plus fucking 2 equals 7? It's like, to, like that, okay, that one... Bitch, do you think I'm going to become a scientist? Bitch, how many motherfuckers are going to become scientists? Like... <laughs> It's like, Cause see, here's the thing, right? They me. say that in they say that in maths they teach you all this complicated shit, so that you can use it in like science subjects. Motherfucker, I took physics, right? All you needed was a basic, like algebra. You needed to understand the basics. I took right? biology. Didn't didn't use a single right. Like in physics, math. yeah, in physics you had to understand the very basics of algebra and equations, right? Yeah. Which is the easiest shit that you can get taught, and most people understood. Right, yeah. Yeah. that is all the shit we fucking needed. I didn't. But then I maths, don't like hits you with fucking x equals mc square. Where the fuck is this coming from? Where Honestly, I fucking this? like some of the shit they get you doing higher, right? Like, what the fuck am I doing? When am I ever gonna use this? Gets pulled over by a cop. Yeah, solve this equation. <laughs> how, how, why do you have this? What? Yeah, like. <laughs> it's like solve what this equation. <laughs> solve this equation to find out how much you're getting fined for speeding. Fuck you. Like no fucking way am I doing that shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, wait. I don't <laughs> imagine know I'm a cop. Fuck yo, you. imagine doing that shit. Just like a cop pulls you over and says, "Do you know how fast you were going?" I don't fucking know. <laughs> like Let's solve this equation to learn how uh, fast you're going. Why do you have this? What the fuck do you have that? I remember seeing a. Uh, I think it's like some of the worst things you can say when you get pulled over, like rolls the window down. It's like, yeah, it's me again. <laughs> like that is, it. fuck. No, what was one of the I'm other ones? Sorry, and my bad. Genuinely means mean the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. Except at a funeral. Fuck. <laughs> In a funeral, she's got completely different context. It's just my bad. What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? My, I'm I'm sorry. My bad. The wait, fuck wait. you mean my bad? You fucking killed him? Like, no. No, just my bad. <laughs> Can we point out the way I said that was like suspicious as fuck? Just, no. <laughs> no. I didn't do shit. <laughs> Honestly, fucking... I didn't do shit, you can't prove it. Like, <laughs> you hella sus. Uh, <laughs> <Fuck> shut <sake>. up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the way you're saying that is suspicious as fuck. Um, I don't know fuck what you're you. talking... I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even talk about a fucking mic. 
<laughs> we don't need we don't need money, Dutch. We need more beans. <laughs> we need more beans. <laughs> out beans. I'm probably oh, fucking Micah. Fucking, fucking <laughs> uh, he's one. Of, he's like Jerry, one of the funniest bastards. Jeff yeah, J's one funny motherfucker. Yeah. Have you have you have you been watching his Yakuza stuff? Nah, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, let me just say there's a lot of like uh there's a lot of jokes in it. There's a lot of fuck. There's a lot of fuck. Uh there's a lot of uh there's a lot of memes in it mm-hmm. where it's like, yeah, he's dead and also <laughs> gone. Gun? Gun and oh, recently it? recently the meme has become a lamp. Nice. I will, I've been uh, watching GFJ as Kiryu will just bring out a lamp and then beat the fuck out of someone of course it's the only way to kick the shit out of someone with a lamp yes. but like I've I, I seen this um, I guess to move on to like I guess we're moving on to creators right like I was watching I've been watching this podcast recently it's it's fucking great right it's called the Stiff Socks Podcast right and holy I shit! I don't want to know because stiff sock genuinely means <laughs> you've uh, done something with it. Nah, these guys are like funny as fuck, right? Um, but I'm just saying, like, oh, what are the guys' names? I can't even remember. Um, let me go like find their shit. One of the guys is called Trevor Wallace, right? It's like it's his YouTube channel, and then the other guy is called Michael Blostein. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? But these guys are some of the funniest motherfuckers and they come up with the most random shit. Right? Like, um... I can't even remember some of the shit that they come up with, but, like... Oh, yeah, one of them was, like, talking about Whiskey Dick. And they're like, okay, what actually is Whiskey Dick? Obviously, there's, like, the scientific thing for it, but, like, what the fuck actually is it? Because a boner is just blood. So, like, is Whiskey Dick just, like, whiskey telling your blood, like, no, you ain't doing shit tonight! Like, y'all ain't fucking coming in here. And then... No one's coming in here. Yeah. No one's doing anything with yeah. you. And then they just say, like, okay, but if it's just blood, like, can you get a blood transfusion and get a bigger dick? Like, if you... Like, you just walk no, into the hospital and like, I fucking need more! No, you put the pill in it. So oh, it fuck is, that. I have hope. I have hope. <laughs> Damn, I ain't even got three inches right now. <laughs> like honestly, hold on. Is that shit actually true? I don't. know. It's gonna fuck, fuck up on the. Fucking no. Fact check them. Hold on a fucking minute, right? Let me pull up an incognito tab <laughs> and look this shit up. Um, hold on. What would I, What the fuck would I actually look you up? Don't know, you don't know. You don't know. Incognito mode won't fucking save you because. Uh, okay, hold on. on like your, on your Wi-Fi router, it has its history of. What got searched up while using the Wi-Fi? Hold on, what the fuck am I actually looking up? Can you extend it's your been... dick by pulling on it? No, is there it... three inches inside? Is there... I don't fuck. I, I think so, I don't fucking know. Three... Extra... <laughs> Fuck's sake, this is some weird shit. Three extra inches of dick. Oh, dear. Inside... <laughs> My body. Oh, fuck it, look this shit up. Wild facts. Eight wild facts about the penis. Fuck it. <laughs> On li- li- Average Joe. Um. What the fuck? Sorry. Because if you uh, at this point. P. What the fuck are some of these things? Penile anomalies. What the fuck does that even mean? You got like a fucking SCP dick? <laughs> <laughs> fucking penile. I'm pretty sure there is a fucking SCP <laughs> dick or something similar. We'd like to send you notifications. Fuck off. Like fuck. I don't want to learn about dick. What the fuck? I'm trying to find out if there is. I don't think fuck there off. Is. I don't want to join your fucking service. <laughs> Would you know more about dick facts? No. <laughs> Fucking no. Um. Okay, I can't find anything about it. Wait, hold on. I do. I literally just said that, and then seen like a what treatment is there to include to enlarge Speaking penis enlarging. size? Wait, yeah, hold on. Because like, the- females can like make their fucking tits bigger. 
Why can't why can't we hold get on? Our dicks whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's actually like enlargement exercises, right? So let's fucking exercises. Re- cool. Yes, let me read this shit, right? These involve a pulling exercise whereby you repeatedly pull the flaccid penis using the thumb and index finger with the intention of increasing the blood capacity of the penis's erectile tissue, resulting in improved know. length and girth. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want Unfortunately, do there's no scientific evidence that this actually works. So basically, oh, that God. could just be like a fucking no. Like that just you don't, yeah like you didn't have to they didn't have to like go for a fucking description. Oh, there's fucking wait, there's suction devices and extender devices. A device? What the fuck? Yeah, like oh like wait, hold on. The extender device is literally like it's literally just stretching your dick. That's all it is. It literally just I mean, stretch. Like there is literally dick pump. Some have reported to gain one to two centimeters. Hold on, what is centimeters to inches? Centimeters to inches. You could do one one inch or one cent. What is one centimeter? Oh, and so two. Oh no, two centimeter is zero point seven inches. So it's not three. It's fucking. It's definitely not. Shit, this has gone like a really fucking weird place. Yeah, maybe we <laughs> We're talking stop. about fucking dick enlargement. Maybe you should stop. Probably fucking should, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, I put that on, like, my second monitor so that fucking podcast shit couldn't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You're not allowed to learn about penis enlargement. <laughs> what the fuck? This podcast has gone to such a fucking weird place. We got yeah. here talking about another podcast where they spoke about whiskey dick. How the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know, they've, uh, someone's, like, uh, put up, or, you know, uh, you know SCP Animated? Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they, uh, opened, or they started a podcast called Redacted. Oh, shit. So I might have to give that a about, listen. Yeah, they talk about, uh, you know, SCPs SCP shit. and also, yeah. you know, the stories of them. Yeah. I feel like at some point we should do like a live episode of this where I do it on stream and get yeah. people to interact with us. That'd be fucking great. Just what get get should... people in chat to like ask us fucking questions to talk about. Yeah. That'd be some good shit. Yeah, we uh, we should do. Um... Okay, we need to, we need to like uh, actually get together and play like a Lego game together. Fuck it, yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure I looked at. Um other lego games that i have and i think we can do remote play for them we could yeah yeah that, and then do that shit yeah. that could be fun i have a yeah i've got a playstation controller that i use yeah so have i Joe shock 4 yeah <laughs> yeah fuck yeah what color have you got your uh bar like red be? red i've got it to teal oh fuck yeah Saying that, I've got my P- I've got my PC red as well, so like it's kind of my theme. Yeah, I've got I've got my PC like my PC stuff to yellow. Fuck yeah! Honestly, I I like change up the color every once in a while because I had it for blue for so fucking long, and I'm just like fuck it, I need to change this shit. Like yeah. you know, just change it up every once in a while. I think the next one I'm gonna do is like purple because purple's a fucking good color on the PC. It's fucking great. Okay, but like I think I think we could actually just wrap it up there to be honest, because that's like yeah. pretty much an hour. That's like a good time for for a podcast, I think. So yeah. uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to like the video, subscribe, and uh, hit, that, hit that notification bell to be not only if you enjoyed. And uh, and I'll see you guys next time, probably for another episode of this podcast at some point, because we keep fucking forgetting about it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.